Hi, you guys. Long time no see. I am Mish, and I am baby free for the next, I don't know, five, six, maybe seven hours. And I'm about to take advantage of that real quick. <music> I just dropped my son off at his godmom's house. I'm about to go around do some running around because, you know, I'm baby free, but I still got to do things for my baby. Like, I got to get him some more shoes because he lost the shoe at Walmart. Yesterday was at Walmart. He kicked off on his shoes somewhere and it's lost. So I have to get him another pair of shoes or sandals or something. Um... He have on up here, but they kind of raggedy. And I don't like my son to be out here raggedy. And he don't really like to wear his tennis shoes, so I got to get him some more sandals. So I'm going to have to do that. I got to go to a store. I might sign up for this community center thing. So, you know, we can have some stuff to do this summer, you know, locally. And, yeah. Yeah. I just have to go back because I left my... um. Foam at the house, but I got my foam. I don't like to travel without it, but I got my foam now, so I'm about to go and make some runs, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Alrighty, bye. Y'all see this? Gas pump try to steal my car? Like, really? Alright, change the plans. I just got the gas. I gotta go back home. Cause um my niece need her swimsuit. She's with my um son too. I might bring his too. I don't know. Okay, bye. back home before I'm supposed to be because I had to go pick up the um swimsuit but I went to this Dutch Bros it was across the street from the gas station and I've never been there so I just got this I, it's a mango something energy drink and it's like mango flavor it got strawberries on top and some tahini so I dropped off the um swimsuit and um now I'm at Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna get some things that I need for the house or whatever from here. I'll probably do a haul later when I get home. I'm about to go get my son some shoes. I'm sitting outside of um, the shoe place right now. I'm about to go in. Hopefully, I can find him some. Hopefully, if I do find him some, hopefully they can fit him because I don't know what size shoe he wear for real, for real. But yeah. <laughs> So I got the shoes. Now I'm about to um, see if I got my insurance cards and stuff so I can sign up for this um, membership um, for me and my son. So we can like swim and do little activities at this um, community place. Community center, it's like, they have really awesome things there. So, so we can have something to do on our off days and stuff. So yeah, I'm about to go sign up for that. Hopefully. And then I'm gonna go home. I wanted to be home by 12, by noon, but it's about to be noon. It's like 11.57. It's 11.57. I was supposed to be home chilling by now, but things happen. I probably wasn't going to be on time even if I had... I probably wasn't going to be 
back home at noon even if I didn't have to go and um, give them that swimsuit but oh well I'm hungry because I'm trying to get home <laughs> so we're here I don't know how many times I'm gonna say we're here but we're here at the um, community center I'm about to go in and see if I can sign up and yeah I'm not gonna do nothing here today I'm just signing up so I can be together <laughs> Okay, I'm home. I got the membership. Um, it's almost 12:50. I probably would have been home a little sooner. It's just that I end up having not to have a panic attack up at the community center. It wasn't them. They were really nice and helpful there. It was just that I got some news while I was there. Um, my, my sister was calling me because my aunt was calling her because. I don't know why my aunt was calling her though, but um, I guess cause my uncle, his wife was um, found unresponsive and and I got that like via text from, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a lot going on. I got that via text, so I'm like, oh, cause I was signing up and my sister was calling like, like um, cause my auntie got her daughter I was taking her swimming along with another cousin of ours and um she was calling i don't know what was going on but yeah my uncle his wife was feeling unresponsive and it just shook my world like i really don't know his wife that well like i met her like a like they just got married like maybe a year or two ago but she's been like around a long time. Like she, like like she's been in the picture a long time. Like I heard about her more than I've seen her. Like I've seen her a few times. She was always nice and sweet. And one thing I know about her is that she loves my uncle. Like she loves my uncle for real, for real. Even when he was playing games and all that stuff, she loved him for real, for real. So I just wish the best for her. It just shocked me, you know, like and I'm sitting up here at the community center where I saw that text. I'm like, oh my, my heart is just like, I don't know. Whew. I was about to go immediately pick up the kids because I didn't know if they was going to go. Well, my aunt, my aunt dropped my niece and my cousin off to a different aunt who's going to take them to a to the water park instead of her. And she went to the hospital, but my, my son is still being watched. He's being he, And she was like, take your time. You don't got to rush and get them because I was about to rush and get them because I didn't know what was going on. And it was just, I don't know. This probably sounds all over the place, but... Yeah, but I'm back home. I'm gonna try to unwind and rest because, oh, that just blew my mind. Like I just, man, it's been so much going on in our family with people being ill and sick and things just happening. Like I just, it's just, it's just, it's just been a lot. I'm about to cry. It's just been a lot. Like my uncle was just in the hospital on the ventilator last week, and that. And he's like my favorite uncle and he's been going through health issues. Let me just, let me get off of here, okay? Let me get off, let me get off, let me get off. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm trying to get back in the happy spot. Let me show y'all my um haul. That's what we're gonna do, we're not gonna talk about. It. Okay, bye. Dollar Tree, I got some plates because who washes dishes? I got some cups, I wish they had the styrofoam cups that had like 40 something in there, but this was like, the only one I could find and that had more than like 10 of them in there. It's 28 count. Um, I got this because I want to put some pictures up in my room. So some mounting tape. Double sided I hope. Yeah. And I got this ice cube maker. It's an ice mold for my cup. Because I be needing ice. Um, this is some kids colgate because my son he has a tooth now um, i got some corn nuts because you know might take those to work to snack on and i got these which i'll probably snack on today because i want that some whatever poor cracklings and then um father's day is coming up so i got a card for my dad already can't beat the dollar tree got good cards for a dollar it used to be two for a dollar, but yeah. 
And then um, my aunt has a birthday coming up. So I got her a really cute little card with a black woman on it. Yes, ma'am, for her birthday. Um, got some napkins. I got some Pringles. I don't like Pringles for real. But I got these for my mom because I like to get, she likes chips and snacking and stuff. I try to get my mom little things when I can. And I actually got this. It's some plant-based baby powder. It's cornstarch baby powder, which is supposed to be, you know, paraben-free. Never used baby powder on my son, but I thought I'd try it, especially since I found some cornstarch ones. That seemed like it is natural. So I'm going to try it and see. it would be something new. I got this for Father's Day to go with. I don't know what I'm going to get my dad for. Father's Day, but I thought I'd throw this in with it because it's a two-pack of actual NFL license cups. And this is his favorite team. So I thought can't go wrong by throwing that in. And then I just got some orange pop and I'm about to put this stuff up real quick you know the black size well the size that I said I wanted to get in black for him they have them so I got them they were $28 30 something with tax here they go I kind of wish the swoosh was white I don't really care for the gold but oh well hopefully he can fit them I I think he should be able to. The lady says they run a little bit small. I think he's a four. I don't really know. Because he got a pair of um, Jordans that are size five and they're too big for him right now. But I think so. I think he's like a four. But I got these in the size five because they run a little bit smaller, she said, and they do look a little bit, you know, these look like they might fit him just right. So hopefully so. But if not, I'll just take them back probably today. Yeah, I signed up for the um, membership at the community center and they got like a whole little thing, like classes and little things they do as well there, as well as the gym, pool. They got a water park, well, a splash park with like water saws and stuff there. They got like a kid's daycare. I've just paid 250 for him and they'll watch him for two hours. And they're like open from eight to 12 and four to eight. So yeah. As I've been telling y'all, I'm hungry. And I'm like, I'm hungry. So I'm about to eat my breakfast. I did not get to eat my breakfast because I was trying to rush out and get these kids out so I can have a nice calm, relaxing day, which yeah. I kind of got shook up. I'm going to try to chill out. Hopefully, I'm just praying for the best. And yeah. But yeah, I'm about to eat my food and watch some TV. I don't know what I'm going to watch. Probably the shot or this show called Clipped on um, Hulu. I was hoping there was going to be another episode of Clip, but it don't come on until tomorrow. So Hulu won't have it till tomorrow. So I'm all caught up. So I'm going to try to watch the shy. I wish I could paint all of these moments in vibrant. You are play, turns in a gun play, gun play, turns in a pillow top, a pillow top, turns in a sweet dream, a sweet dream. Okay, you guys, I'm in my room. I know the lighting is kind of... I'm, I'm going to work on the lighting. I'm working on the lighting. I'm getting another camera that's better with low light situations because the lighting at the house ain't that good. But I'm getting a um, better camera. Like, not getting. I bought a camera. It just hasn't came in yet. I bought it in May, actually, and I'm still waiting on it to be delivered because I don't know I guess it's out of stock or something I was going to get a different camera that I can just get and take home right away but this is the camera I really wanted so I'm going to wait for it I guess speaking of a new camera I kind of just want to start new like I kind of want to start a new channel 
because you know the vibe of this channel like this channel is very like emotional to me like as you can see i just went through emotional spout not too long ago but that's just me that's who i am and everything but i just feel like this channel just needs to like i need to restart or something or maybe i don't know i probably will still post content here when i can but i probably will move to a new channel and just you know keep it light keep it fun or you know it's always gonna be real so honestly it's honestly gonna be me always but i don't know it's just a thought i don't know i might stay on her with it and just kind of revamp because just going back on my videos it's just been such an emotional roller coaster and my life is still that way like that's like when I heard about my uncle's wife it like really scared me because it's just scary like especially after having my baby I get scared about everything it just makes me panic like I just became super involved in myself not that I haven't been involved in myself and my health before it's just like he just makes me open my eyes and realize especially that I'm his only parent so I want to be here for him maybe not get emotional but it just made me whatever because I've been going through some health type of issues that we're trying to figure it out and I you know I'm not about to speak on that because I don't got all the details in because I don't want to speak on something unless it's final so we just I don't know I recently had like a scare and I honestly don't know exactly what's going on and the doctors and stuff are like really yeah I have not been able to get a good doctor that I feel, you know, like actually trying to help me versus just doing what they gotta do to get a check. Like, I just, I don't know. I just feel like I get those doctors is just there to get the check because, like, yeah, let's get off topic. Like, I had some abnormal um, blood work come back, which prompted me to go see a specialist. And when I was referred to a specialist, it's like I couldn't see them for up to probably a year because they're so backed up or whatever. So I had to find my own specialist that would take me and use my insurance. And I did and I got in there after like maybe, goodness, it took from March till May is when I saw, finally got in to see the specialist. But it was better than waiting a whole year. But I see the specialist, they took blood work, of course. And they run in their tests. And they the lab emailed me the test results and I got some abnormal test results. And you know how your doctor is supposed to call you and go over your test results? They had not called me. And um, I tried to um, contact the doctor and I left messages on their portal and everything and I have not heard back from them. But I do got an appointment coming up next week, I think. Yeah, next week. So I guess I'll hear about that next week. Hopefully it's not, I try not to stress out, but that's me. I'm always stressing out, so. Yeah, but anyway, and now I'm in my room. Um, before I pick up the kids, I do want to just kind of, I don't know, touch up this room a little bit. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. I'm not even going to show y'all the mess that's up in here, but I'm just going to try to do a little sweeping, pick up a lot of things, and um, I don't know. Just pick it up a little bit because that was on my list to get done. It's just a little bit. I wasn't rearranged the room, but I'm just going to clean up a little bit and not try to do too much. Especially since I'm going to be picking up the kids a little earlier than I expected. Right now, I'm just going to get rid of some of my son's clothes that he can't fit anymore or his winter clothes. Even though he got winter clothes, he can still fit. Like, he can fit this and everything, but it's not winter. 
And by the time winter comes back, he's gonna be outgrown it, probably. Probably. What size is this? He might get stuck with that. The clothes of his that I'm giving away, like in this bag right here that I'm putting them in, I'm just gonna be putting them in a um, donation box for, um, you know, but anything that's like really stained or very worn out, I'm just gonna throw it in the trash. I know you can't help but to be yourself around me, yourself around me. Oh. And I know nobody's perfect, so I'll let you be. I'll let you be. I really don't care for these pictures. This one's my favorite. I got these done at Walmart. It was, what is it, Stewart photos? I know he travels to different Walmarts and places all over so be careful with him like you see the back this is my favorite picture the my best one now look the bunch you see how you got carpet background in there like this supposed to be a backdrop of the sky that does not look like the sky even in this one you can see the carpet and this one the lighting is just terrible I don't like it but I paid good money for it, so yeah. I'm gonna take some more pictures of him for his birthday. If they're gonna be better, I'm gonna do it myself. So I've done a little cleaning up. I'm not gonna show y'all room now because it's still not up to par, but it's okay, a lot better than before. Um, I'm about to go pick up the kids and you know see what's going on, and we'll probably get some food and come back to the house, and it's probably gonna be crazy. But yeah. Where you going? Where you going? It's got dark. I'm back. Both kids are with me now. Um, I thought I was gonna have to take my niece out to get some food, but they fed her before she dropped her off. Um, families, they're going to the hospital to, you know, be with my uncle. And yeah, I gotta stop recording because he's trying to take the camera. All right, I'm back. Like I said, I got both of the kids now. Um, I tried to feed my son, but he wasn't eating. I think he might have ate over there, probably. Um, and plus, he just have not been eating for real, like, as good as he used to. Like, he's, like, slowly starting to eat less and less. And that's crazy because I'm trying to wean him off the milk, but it's like baby food regular food is like he's not eating as much as he was before so I'm trying to figure that out like why and how can I get him to eat more food but yeah the kids are playing she's playing with her toys she's playing with water <laughs> don't say it like that <laughs> 